Harva of Norway contacted me recently and asked me if I would be interested in reviewing some of their products. They've sent me this machine to review. It's the Arva Go P55. It's a portable pressure washer. It weighs about 11 kilograms, so it's quite easy to lug around. And as you can see, there's kind of a space for everything with this pressure washer. It delivers 140 bar at 450 litres an hour. It's a 2000 watt motor. It's got a five meter power cable and an eight meter hose. The pump is a three cylinder pump. It's all metal. It comes with a 10 year warranty. When you take it out of the box, you've got an automatic five year warranty. And then after five years, you've got the option to buy a service kit. And I was told there would be somewhere around about 40 pounds for the service kit. And you can service this yourself or get someone to service it for you and extend the warranty by another five years to give you a maximum of 10 years warranty, which is pretty impressive really. 11 kilograms is fairly heavy but you can heft it around without any problems at all. The fact that it's been designed so that everything fits on the unit so you can carry it around is brilliant as well. It comes with an 8 meter steel reinforced hose. Steel reinforced means that it is far stronger than the hoses that are supplied with other manufacturers machines. Certainly on carter machines it's very easy to damage the hose if you actually pull the hose out and it's got a kink in it like that. If you keep pulling on the catcher it will crease the hose and damage it possibly ruin the hose but with this because it's steel reinforced then the kink will just pull out Arva send a foam lance with this unit so this is Arva's zoom lance and this is a smashing piece of kit if you press a yellow button on the top twist the nozzle round and pull then that lance extends I'll put the gun on the end of the lance and you can see that you've got a fair amount of reach there which is very handy also supplied is the Vario nozzle and that's got two fan patterns 20 degrees and 60 degrees as well as a Vario nozzle it comes with a turbo nozzle which is brilliant for cleaning patios so it's really refreshing to be able to just pick up a power washer and walk outside with it so the supplied hose has got the same fitting on either end it makes no difference which end you use this just pushes into here and you can hear it click into place now if you want to remove the hose this button presses down and this one is fixed you just Kind of grip it between your thumb and forefinger and press together and pull the hose out so it's quite simple to attach and remove the other end just pushes into the pressure gun it goes in there clicks into place to remove the hose press this yellow button and out it pops so it's very simple next we've got the zoom lens that just pushes in 90 degrees and then this is a locking collar now you don't need to use this locking collar but it just makes everything a little bit more secure and as i demonstrated earlier you can increase or decrease the length of the zoom lance which is really very handy and then this is the area i'm going to clean i'll be using the turbo nozzle and that just slots in 90 degrees now this time with the turbo nozzle if you clamp it in place with this collar and lock it which is just a, a screw thread I was told that it increases the efficiency of the turbo nozzle by 10%. So if you're using the turbo lance, it's definitely worthwhile snugging up this collar. So we'll connect the hose, like so. The cable is plugged in in there. Turn the water hose on. The first thing that you've got to do is to bleed all the air out of the hose and out of the pump. So I'll just press the trigger on the gun. You can hear the air coming through and then we'll get water through there. That sounds fine. So that's all the air purged out of the system. Now I'm going to turn the machine on. And that's it pressurised already. Right, so let's get started. Arva also sent me a patio cleaner to review and they've got two different models. This model is a premium 
because it's got a pressure adjustment on the casing. If you adjust the button, it moves the nozzles up or down. So the closer the nozzles are to the patio, the more pressure there is, and the farther away they are, the less pressure there is. So there is pressure adjustment on that. I've got to say this uh, power washer is really quiet. Now that is way quicker than using the turbo nozzle. I'll rinse it off and we'll see what it looks like. Right, so I can see a slight difference. I think the turbo nozzle is slightly better, but only marginally. There's not a big difference there. Uh, these are really dirty slabs. I mean, if your slabs are in a reasonable condition and not as dirty as these, a patio cleaner would be a really quick way of doing things. And it's kind of horses for courses. There's not an awful lot of difference between the patio cleaner and the turbo nozzle. The turbo nozzle is better and it does a better job of cleaning because it's far more aggressive and that's what it's designed to do. But the patio cleaner does a good job and it's way, way quicker. So you need to decide whether it's worthwhile investing in a patio cleaner. And I would suggest if you've got a large area of patio, it might be worthwhile investing in a patio cleaner to save a lot of time. But if you were after a deep clean, then the turbo nozzle is the way to go. So now I'm going to stop filming. I'm going to actually finish this area of paving and I'll let you see what it's like when I've finished it. There we are, that's job done. So I've fitted the foam lance that comes with the pressure washer and I've put some snow foam in there. You can alter the density of the foam by twisting the end of the foam cannon there. That is really thick. I'm impressed with that. So that's the foam applied. I'll leave that for a minute or two and then we'll give it a rinse off and see what it's like. Well, there we go. That's literally taken me five minutes to clean the car and I know I haven't done it properly. It's just to really demonstrate how this thing works. So I'm pleased with that. Very quick, very easy. It's a very nice machine to use. It's quiet, it's effective. 140 bar is easily enough pressure for most of the things that anybody's wanted to do around the house. So cleaning the car, perfect, no problems at all. So there's one last thing I want to demonstrate. I've got some conservatory cleaning detergent in here and I'm just going to go through cleaning this panel on the conservatory. It's very effective and it's very quick. So I'm going to put the flexi lance on and this is the Arva mop. It's another thing that they've sent for me to look at. But this is perfect for things like conservatories and windows. So I'm going to put that on as well. So that's it fitting. Now the way this works is when you press the trigger. It actually pushes water through the mop. So you're rinsing and washing at the same time. So I like that, you actually get some friction there which takes some of the dirt off, which is very good. So to finish off, I'll use a Vario nozzle and I'll set that to 60 degrees. So that's me finished putting this Arva Go P55 through its paces and I am really impressed with this machine. Just look at it, I mean, it's absolutely brilliantly designed. There's a space for everything. It's just a pick up and go, power washer 140 bar is lots of pressure for something this size i've got a catch a k4 and that only provides 130 bar so that's 10 more bar in a machine this size it's quiet it's easy to carry around it has been well designed and thought out and i can understand how it's won an award because it really is a brilliant piece of kit i think arva are going to do very well with this machine
I hope you've enjoyed this review. Thank you for watching and please take care.